Hello, today I learned why this item of clothing is called a jumper if you live in the UK and Ireland, or a sweater if you live in the US. Also called pullovers, I think, everywhere. But the meaning of that is just, you know, you when you pull it over your head, that's why. So let's start with sweaters. This would be called a sweater in the US because it was used to make people sweat. It was used for athletic training back in the 1800s. They wanted their athletes to sweat more to get fitter. So they put heavier clothes on the athletes. There's writing from the 1880s about one poor lad that was forced to wear three pairs of trousers and four sweaters to help him lose weight. This is not responsible. Now, jumper. First off, jumper has nothing to do with jump as in leap. Nothing. We'll start with the French word jupe, which used to mean a petticoat and now means a skirt. From jupe came a word jump or jup in the 1800s, which was a kind of a smock jacket, a loose artist or workman's jacket. I'll show you. This kind of jacket, a jup or jump. So from those jackets came the word jumper. But now in the US, jumper went on to mean a kind of a girl's dress, a skirt without any sleeves. It was called a jumper dress. And they think in the UK, it just from the jacket, they went into woolen kind of cardigans and went into these pullovers. Now, one mad fact I came across when researching this was that jumper, meaning this, was not in the dictionary until 1989. I'm sure in the UK and Ireland, people's parents and grandparents all call these jumpers maybe pullovers. But if anyone knows better, let me know better. But I know for sure that a jumper has nothing to do with jumping. That is something I learned today. I will have another one for you tomorrow. Thank you very much.